stars are so beautiful here. They look like diamonds. <gasps> oh, Joe! <laughs> that I'm about to obliterate. Hey! Martin, I need to talk to you right away. It's important. <sighs> What's more important than saving the Earth from an alien invasion? Saving the Earth from an alien invasion! I just saw a real UFO. Okay, I was photographing the Leonid meteor shower when this weird shape appeared through my lens. I snapped a picture. Diana, UFO means unidentified flying object, of which there aren't any because the center identifies all alien traffic in this quadrant. The center can't keep track of everything. An alien craft is bound to slip through once in a while, except this one didn't get past me. All right, a UFO slips past an army of scientists with the latest alien detecting technology, but can't get by a dork with a camera on a roof. My picture will be proof. Then you'll be the dork for doubting me. <laughs> Huh, looks like we'll find out soon enough what the center thinks of your UFO. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Java, you scared us. You not hear beeping? Long <laughs> <laughs> history. Clear. Diana Longhorn. Clear. Jack and the Caveman. Clear. <laughs> Hey guys, hey Billy. So guys, uh, what's new? What's new, Billy, is that I spotted an unidentified flying object that slipped by the center's defenses. And before she embarrasses the family name, would you please explain to my stepsister that the center identifies all flying objects? Um, yes, well, uh, you see, it's it's like this. Uh, Here, Billy, <gasps> just have this processed for me, and we'll see who's right. Sure, glad I can help. Hi, Mom. Oh, we got a question for you. Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Easy does it. Are you okay? Oh, no time for chit-chat. Let's get to your mission. We're picking up some strong paranormal readings from this tiny island. The readings are periodic rather than steady, growing strong at regular intervals, then fading again. Hmm, interesting. Is there anything on the island? Just a small village and a luxury resort where you'll be staying. Luxury good. The guests at the hotel have been disappearing, so watch your step. Whoa. Uh, hey, Mom. What you doing? <gasps> I'm attending an interdimensional conference next week and have to adjust my equilibrium. Any other questions? Well, this is kind of off topic, but it's possible that an unauthorized alien ship could pass by the Earth without the center being aware of it, right? <laughs> Nothing gets past our sensors without sounding an alarm. The UFO. I told you. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. This way, guys.
aliens do you think a jelly donut can carry? Oh, or what do you think the top warp speed of an intergalactic apple fritter is, huh? Knock it off <laughs> already! You're making me hungry. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Fantastic Island. Where your fantasies come true, for a small fee. <laughs> right, Buzz? I am the manager of Fantastic Island, Mr. Roche. And this is Beasley, my assistant. You could be right after all, Diana. Maybe your aliens have already landed. Now please, climb aboard and let us take you to your accommodations. about some rumors we've heard uh, about guests disappearing. Oh, yes. It happens all the time. It does? You don't sound very concerned. Oh, once our guests have become used to the island attitude, they can't bear to go back to the rat race. They forget their cares and wander off. Ah! Ah! They always turn up months later, happy and stress-free. Sounds like alien abductions to me. This could be connected to the UFO I saw. Right. Happy, stress-free alien abductions. <laughs> Mr. Roche, you're right about one thing. This is fantastic. Yes, our island is like a fantasy, isn't it? Come, my friends. Let me show you to your accommodations. It's beautiful, but it's not exactly the most hopping resort, is it? And your staff seems to be a little subdued. It is the low season for tourists. More time for the staff to see to your every wish. I think you will find these rooms very comfortable. Olivia, this room should already be made up for our guests. I'm sorry, Mr. Roche. I am almost finished. <sighs> yes, well, I'm sure you will learn to do your job more efficiently. Please, feel free to come to me personally if there is anything you need. Enjoy your stay. Is Mr. Roche that hard on all his employees? Uh, just the new ones. That man makes me so uncomfortable. Well, there is something kind of odd about him. Maybe it's the suit or that uh, creepy sidekick. Ever since I come here, there is something strange going on. Strange? What do you mean? Uh, people disappear. The ones that don't disappear, they lose their will to do anything. Isn't that just the laid-back island attitude? Who disappeared? From where? Olivia, Mr. Roche would like to see you right away. Yellow Tide Cove, that's the spot. The um, best beach on the island. Woohoo! Let's hit that cove. Uh, what do you think she meant by best beach? The best sand, the best babe watching, or the best surfing? Actually, Martin, I think she meant Yellow Tide Cove is the number one beach for alien abductions. You're not going to start that again, are you? Uh, Java, what do you think? Hmm, Java like luxury. <sighs> Sunset. It's hard to believe anything bad could happen here. Hmm. Someone here? Well, at least 12 hours ago. Most of these footprints were washed away by the last tide. Think the tide did this? Check it out. Uh, that's a little odd, but not exactly evidence of aliens. Come on, we won't be catching any more rays today. Martin, look, I found something. It's a ring. Something did happen here. Oh, no one just loses something like this. Or this? Ew! It's an ear! A human ear! Now do you believe me? About alien abductions? No, but something weird did happen here. I'll send the ear to the center for analysis. Maybe they can tell us something. Fine, but hurry up. Fantastic Island is getting less fantastic by the second. Something <gasps> moving. I think it's a UFO! Where? Where? Oh, I see it! I see it! <laughs> Here's your UFO! <laughs> 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 
Ah uh ha! -huh. Very funny, smart guy. Now let's get back to the resort. I don't remember the resort being this far away. We should be able to see tiki torches by now, or hear music. Wait a second. We are at the resort! When Roche says low season, he really means it. Mr. Roche? Olivia? Is anyone here? Wait! Listen! It came from over there! No, it's this way. Apologize for leaving you unattended. We were just having our weekly staff meeting. Mm. Mm. <gasps> Olivia, what went on in there? A staff meeting, sir. Have a wonderful evening. <gasps> <gasps> Rose creeped her out a few hours ago. Now she's all smiles. He did something to her. Yeah, like that yellow dye job on her hair. Speaking of our creepy host, where'd he go? There. You guys follow Roche. I'll follow the maid and meet you at the cabin later. Deal. <laughs> oh, plant acting weird. Stand back. <gasps> Hi, guys. <sighs> Billy, why don't you call ahead next time you show up on a mission? Sure, no problem. Uh, where's Diana? Uh, she's busy investigating. What have you got for us? That ear you sent for analysis is a human ear, all right. Uh, sort of. It contains highly regenerative DNA. Meaning what? That it came from someone who heals quickly? Something like that. So, uh, how's the resort? Seems like a pretty nice assignment. Uh, maybe I could stay and... Well, gotta run. Diana! <laughs> it might have been. Come on! She's not here. Maybe not far. Hurry. Ah, ah. Oh. Lou, just like Roche, it's some kind of zombie. Ah. Ah. More zombies. Strong zombies. Ah. They're everywhere. Java! Still coming. And we can't see a thing. Alpha goggles selected. That's weird. They're not coming after us, Java. They're going into the bush. Follow me and stay close. Them. Wait a minute. You will now take the final step and become a true servant of the Master Hexa. True servant, Hexon the Master. True servant, Master. True servant, Master. Turn them into zombies. Diana! Wait, I want to see what we're dealing with first. 
Legend X selected. Hexon is an undead legendary sea creature. It needs to feed on living victims. Oh, good plan. Lure the tourists here with a nice brochure and then have your zombie servants feed them to you. Oh, yellow tide coming in. Yellow, right. I bet that's the yellow water that Roche uses to turn the islanders into zombies. Hexon? Correction. You're going to be served to Hexon. The master requires nourishment and you're just his type. Uh, nobody makes a midnight snack out of my sister. On here. Why are you dressed like that? I... I don't know. I dreamed I was leading a zombie army, serving the demon Hexan. You? Leading an army? <laughs> Leaders have charisma, Roche. And you're almost too dull to be an assistant manager. You're uh, the manager? Roche is... dull? Rename Yellow Tide Cove now that the demon's gone? Martin Mystery Cove, huh? Sounds like a beautiful spot for a luxury resort. Luxury good. <clears throat> hey, you guys aren't leaving, are you? We might as well. We thought it would be a memorable trip, but I can't remember anything. It was like we were zombies the whole time. Ah, uh, yeah. 
Oh, I almost forgot. I found this on the beach. My mm. ring! You found it! Joe, will you marry me? Uh-oh. Looks like our trip might be over, too. Billy, you're looking a little green. Or is that your normal color? Oh. Uh, hey, Mom. How was the interdimensional conference? Oh. Oh. Fine. Just fine. Though I haven't adjusted my equilibrium back to normal quite yet. Good job, troops. We'll have agents scoop up whatever traces are left of Hexen, and he'll be permanently sequestered in our center jail. Billy, did you get my photos processed? Uh, yes, uh, right here. There! Look, my UFO! Now what do you say, hmm. smart guy? Hmm. Um, uh, sis? There it is again! My UFO is in the sky right now! Actually, it's a bit of unidentified gum. And that's what you saw through your lens. No! No, I saw it! It's gotta be there somewhere! Hmm. Experiment! your rodent cunning to figure it out. My rodent cunning must be defective, because all these cheese holes look exactly the same to me. <laughs> oh. 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 Let's go one more. Double or nothing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. But if you lose, you have to clean my room and do my laundry. Hmm. Yeah. Did these used to be white? <gasps> That's the deal, sis. If you want to be the big cheese, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. Martin Mysteries Room. Martin speaking. Hey, kid! <laughs> Dad! Uh, are you okay? Where are you? Uh, at the moment, underneath an extremely heavy piece of photography equipment. Uh, ah, that's better. Hey, so how'd you and your stepsister like to join me for a little impromptu woodland excursion? Huh, sounds like a blast. Oh, good. I've set up a camp in the area for a bit of mammalian research I'm doing. With you and Diana, it'll be just like one of those camping trips we used to take when you were smaller. Smaller? Yeah, anyway, come on out as soon as you can and we'll have ourselves a bit of family amusement. Oh, and don't forget to take your toothbrush and clean socks. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore, you know. <laughs> a kid anymore, that's a good one. Uh, I'll see you soon, kid. <sighs> Come on, Diana. We're hooking up with Dad. He's not too far from here. B but I should have the feeling back in my fingers any second. Diana! Okay, fine. I wasn't gonna win this thing anyway. 
we better call the center and tell them... <gasps> Man, talk about timing. It coming from TV. I understand you want to take some time off to go camping with your father. Huh? How did you know that? I could tell you, but then you would have to be transferred to the center field office at the South Pole. I suppose it's not really, uh, well, you know, that important. Exactly. I think taking a few days off is a wonderful idea. Get out in the fresh air, come back recharged. Java go too? I don't think that's such a good idea, Java. This is really a family reunion for Martin, Diana, and their father. No. Oh, cheer up, Jov. We'll be back before you know it. Besides, I'm sure you'll have all sorts of fun around here. Uh, <gasps> not so fast. You have to leave your U-watch. Huh. Uh, I never go anywhere without it. What if your father finds it, tries to see what time it is, and then fires off a laser? <laughs> uh, that would be bad. Okay. It'll be fine. Here. To make it up to you, I had operations put together some special camping gear for your trip. Self-assembling tent, portable, battery-operated microwave camping stove. Actually, I prefer to camp out the old-fashioned way, you know, relying on my ingenuity and basic survival skills. I guess that means you won't be needing the 50-person self-inflating emergency escape raft. Oh, this is gonna be some <laughs> trip. <laughs> I've only got one word to say. Pavement? Hey, look! Huh. There's Dad! You are. I was getting worried Martin didn't follow my directions properly. Hi, Dad. Hi, honey. Hi, Martin. How's school going this year? Great. I meant Martin. I assume you're knocking it out of the park this year, as always, my dear? So, uh, Dad, uh, what are you working on? These footprints were recently discovered by loggers in the area. They appear to belong to a new species of mammal. Whoa, this didn't come from any normal animal. It's from a manimal, part man and part animal, similar to the Siberian sloth man of 1814. Exactly what kind of classes am I paying for at Torrington Academy? Uh, <laughs> uh, Martin was just playing around, right, Martin? Sure, just playing. Humor, yes, 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 wonderful. Anyway, I'm sure there's a rational explanation behind the animal that made these tracks. As I said in my standing room only lecture at the University of Myanmar, proper research, not wild flights of imagination, is the key to science. Uh, where are you going? Well, uh, seeing how you don't need my help with your research, I'll go catch you some dinner. Did I say something wrong? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Java. Why the long face? Me Neanderthal. I mean, uh, why do you look so sad? Oh, Java Miss Martin Diana. Well, what if we found you something to do around here? A job. Something to take your mind off of them. Really? Their job here Java can do? Sure. 
<laughs> Martin, please. You're embarrassing yourself in front of the fish. <laughs> Basic survival skills, Diana. You can't live without them. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking you or the fish? <laughs> what? Ah! Martin? Hmm. Come on, Martin. Martin? Dad! <gasps> Dad! Diana, what is it? It's Martin. Something pulled him under the water. Martin! <laughs> I'm gonna clobber you! Martin, do you have any idea how irresponsible that was? How childish? I'm sorry, I was just joking. <gasps> Martin, if you think I'm so naive as to be fooled by another one of your tricks... Well, I'm not doing that, I'm right here! Mm. <laughs> You gotta get me out of here. It's gonna find me. Grab me again. What? What is? Oh, it makes a sound. Some kind of yell. That's how it stops you from running. I, I barely escaped. Please! You gotta get me out of here. That must be it. Totally. The same animal whose tracks I've been studying. Just what I'm thinking. And based on this poor man's description, it sounds just like it's... Way ahead of you. Obviously a bear. What? Probably of the genus Selenarctus africanus. Dad, please. It's clearly something much more than that. My guess is that it's a relative of the Florida skunk ape. Florida skunk ape? <laughs> That's a mythical creature, son. It doesn't exist. Oh, no? Then why do we have a breeding pair down at the set? Uh, don't you think we should help this man first? You know, before the spirited debate? Oh, yes, 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 of course. Diana, your razor-sharp mind never fails. As I said in my keynote address at last June's Anthropic Cosmology Conference, actions speak louder than obtuse. <gasps> Excuse me? Mythical creature? <laughs> How do you explain this? Hmm. Interesting. The way I see this, it's got both human and alien characteristics. Oh, first it's a skunk ape, and now it's an alien? There's only one way to find out. Let's go track this thing. Martin, that's the craziest thing I've heard yet. This, I'll study later. Right now, we've got to call in some help for this poor man. Well, I'd rather be crazy than narrow-minded. Oh, I'm a scientist, young man. I don't invent wild fantasies every time something unusual comes across my radar screen. Science, Martin, is here to rescue us from the myths that keep us in the dark. Come on, Diana. According to the ranger, that man's a logger who went missing three days ago. Did the logger give any more information about whatever it was that grabbed him? Well, he was too shaken up to say. We'll investigate in the morning, but I feel pretty good about my Selenarctus Africanus theory. Hmm. Right. Well, maybe I'll go record some nocturnal animal sounds for reference. You want to come, Martin? No, thanks. squared off against evil trees. I've defeated bog creatures, gotten up in the face of an acid-spewing alien insect queen. And because the center is top secret, I can't tell Dad any of that. He's always gonna think I'm just a kid. I'm sorry, Martin. 
You know, I wish I was more like you, brainy. Ah, uh, how brainy can I be? <laughs> I can't even find my way out of a Swiss cheese video game. I'm serious, Di. <laughs> if I were more scientific, maybe Dad would be proud of me. <laughs> Survival Training 101. Dad! Martin, do you think Dad's okay? Well, the logger was grabbed for three days and wasn't seriously hurt. I'm guessing we still got some time. Hey, check it out! It's a logging camp. <gasps> it's Dad's. <gasps> we must be close. Diana! Not Selenarctus Africanus. Uh, how about we bounce theories off each other after we get out of here? It's a synth. Uh, a, a what? A creature, a synthesized from both human and alien genes. Oh, Martin, please. This isn't the time. Oh, look. Obviously, it was abandoned by its creators thousands of years ago. It must have lived in secrecy until the loggers infringed on its territory. Dad, are you okay? As crazy as this sounds, I can't deny the evidence. Martin, where did you learn about this creature, this, this synth? Dad, I have something to tell you. Uh, Diana and I... Take some amazing electives at Torrington. Phew. Way. I don't know, but we gotta hurry before the synth finds out we're gone! I think she found out. We go right. Are you sure? 
Follow the smoke. That's what you should have done when you were a rat. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain later. one of these. Jav, how did you know that we were in trouble? Uh, Java could tell, but then have to send you to South Pole. Mm. Martin? Diana, what happened? Where's the synth? Dad, you should have seen it! Martin saved us. He turned their sonic shriek back on them. Yeah, too bad you didn't get to see me do it. Martin, I don't need to see it to believe it. Really? Yeah, after you've shown me what you're capable of, why would I doubt it? <laughs> huh? Hey, why don't I skip the field research and we spend the rest of the weekend really roughing it at a five-star hotel? Maybe I can rough it by the pool, surrounded by wild bikinis. <laughs> wild bikinis? Oh, 
Attack of the Mothman! His name's Marvin? Yeah, isn't that cool? It's only his first day at Torrington and he's all the rage. Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about how awesome he is. <laughs> Him awesome? Please. Why would anybody be interested in a lame counterfeit when they could have the real Martin mystery? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe because he has a little more in the talent looks, brains, and personality department? <laughs> Not to mention his very own comic book about a paranormal superhero. Paranormal superhero? But that's my gig! Yeah. Oh, tooling around on a board and dressing like me is one thing, but the paranormal world is mine! <laughs> Isn't Marvin wonderful and talented? <gasps> and so cute, too. I hope I can get on his dating waiting list. Oh. Uh, okay, now I feel nauseous. Can you believe Jenny would fall for such a fake? Don't bother Java now. <laughs> Comic rocks. Java, not you too. There's nothing original in there. I wouldn't even waste my time reading that trash. Oh, Martin, there's nothing to be jealous of. Yeah, there's no way you could ever compete with a guy like Marvin. He is so out of your league. <laughs> Hey, I don't know how good could a stupid comic book be anyways. Hmm, pretty good. <laughs> the center! <laughs> don't you just love the way he dresses? Yeah, I liked it this morning when I put it on. Mystery. Clear. Diana Longhorn. Clear. Java the Caveman. Clear. Hey, guys. What's this? Oh, that, that's nothing. Hey! It's just a comic book Martin said he wouldn't waste his time reading. Hmm. Well, now that I've read it, I can say it's absolutely terrible. Wow, this comic is awesome. This Marvin guy must be really cool. The Good afternoon, team. Ooh, Alien Invader! I love this game! Martin, this isn't a game, it's our Alien Patrol Center. You just threw our team leader's ship off course. <gasps> Oops, my bad. <laughs> Smooth move, space cadet. A Dr. Miles disappeared from his research lab in Paris under strange circumstances. Research? Awesome! He must have disappeared when his experiment backfired and turned him into an antimatter entity. Ah, I doubt we'll be able to bring him back. In one piece, that is. <laughs> hmm. Ahem. Sorry. <sighs>
maybe the scientist didn't disappear. Probably just needed a vacation from this creepy place. Are you kidding? This is the coolest place ever! Yeah, I guess if slimy, gross, and disgusting is your definition of cool. What else is there? Huh? <sighs> Diana, don't move! There's one in your hair! Get out! Get out! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. oh, this calls for revenge. Oh, that's right. I don't need revenge. Marvin's taking care of that for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? Hey, check this out. Oh, it looks like it could be a serum of some sort that the professor was working on. I guess it's not your fault that you don't know space amoeba tracks when you see them. Hmm. Give it time, sis. Someday you'll blossom into an experienced agent like your brother. Open your eyes, Martin. The lab's a mess. Obviously, there was a scuffle, and Dr. Miles dropped his serum when he was abducted. Hmm. Bring. School's in session. Try to keep up with me. The pattern is too consistent. These were definitely made by a living organism. <laughs> <gasps> Java ready. Well, hello there. Oh, uh, hi. You must be from the center. I am Dean Stella Odet. Thank you so much for coming. Our pleasure. And uh, can you tell us why the campus looks so deserted? Uh, it's because of the recent mysterious disappearances. Uh, disappearances? As in more than one? Uh, just two. I wanted to keep classes in session, but the Board of Trustees insisted on closing the campus until the matter could be solved. Gee, imagine that. Who else disappeared? Uh, Bruce Phillips. A wonderful student. Did he live on campus? Of course. Where else, silly? Well, I must be off. Good luck with the investigation. Yeah, nice, and not very forthcoming with information. Now let's find a student housing roster and check out this missing student's room. I thought only you kept your room this clean. Me too. It's almost as if someone intentionally cleaned this room of clues. Maybe on the surface. <gasps> but I know every guy's favorite hiding place. Got it. Why would anyone hide a school book? <laughs> Who wants to advertise being a geek? Well, you don't seem to mind. Hey, look at this. Got paid to go to science class? Oh man, what a great scam. How can I get in on that? No, doofus. He got paid to be a human guinea pig for science experiments. Hmm. College students do that all the time for extra cash. It's still a great scam. I can't wait to go to college. Mm, closet like Diana's. Cedar, but closet not clean like Diana's. A silk spitting banshee. A legend says the banshee comes out during rainy nights to nest inside the shell of humans. Interesting delusion. But this mound of goo is just a spider's nest, and the webs are from the infestation. I guess you're right. After all, that is about the biggest spider I've ever seen! Ah! I can't wait a bit! I'll make it go away! Oh, I'm so good! Did you just eat me? You're so immature! Am not! R2! Am not! R2! <laughs> Huh? Uh, uh, help! Ah! 
Get the papers. We'll get the dean. think a spider is responsible? Well, it's definitely more web goo than any spider can spin. Well, let's see what Ms. Overly Nice was trying to hide from us. They were doing weird insect experiments and the spruce guy was part of the test. That's what they paid him for. Huh? What is this stuff? It's like dust or something. Silk strands. Dust. Moths! There are aquariums filled with moths in the lab. Intelligent moths! Oh, this is just like that movie, The Moth Files. Uh, moths were experimented on, but the experiments went awry, and the moths attacked. Attacked what? Clothes? Well, the nest was in the closet. A cedar closet, and moths are repelled by cedar. Not the white no. cedar moth! <laughs> Billy, you scared us. Sorry, I just wanted to tell you that the host tree for the white cedar moth is actually white cedar. Go figure. So to find our intelligent moth, all we have to do is find a white cedar forest. And look, there's only one in the area. Thanks, Billy. I'd like to see Marvin handle a case like this. Oh, mm. uh, well, he'd be totally good at it. It was his comic that gave me the idea. Yeah, it has the white cedar moth in it. <laughs> a white cedar moth, I would be totally stoked to live here. Oh, don't let being human hold you back. Move in any time you want. Ah! Ah! <laughs> white cedar moth, we're on the right track. Though I wouldn't say any of them were particularly intelligent. Ah! I'm gonna fall for that a third time. <laughs> oh man, third time's a charm. Not a spider web. Not even close. What kind of creature can spin this much goo? <laughs> Just a bunch of moths. Shh. Come on. Oh. <laughs> branches. I guess this is where practicing the obstacle course in PE class finally comes in handy. <laughs> This is even more rad than I suspected. Human pods. That must be Dr. Miles. That's Dean on deck trapped inside. We're students. Doesn't this thing sleep? Yeah, in the day. Do your magic, Java. <laughs> Bruce 
Whoops. Moss. Experiment. Horribly wrong. Well, that's the understatement of the year. <sighs> Dinaudette, please. Where's the student who disappeared? Oh, help. Before it eats us. Oh! Go. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh. Stop oh. This goo is like a slimy strike jacket! Try to keep moving! You oh. watch activated. Eye cutter selected. <laughs> Everybody. Trouble. Trouble is putting it mildly. There's a prison cell with each of your names on it. Well done, team. Thanks. Uh, hey, what about Bruce? We need to bring him back to human form. The sander is already working on a formula. In that case, maybe they can work on a formula to get this sticky moth gunk out of my clothes and hair. Still the reigning cool kid at Torrington. Not for long, sis. I finally have something he doesn't. A zit on your forehead? Hmm? Martin. <laughs> Except Marvin can do those in his sleep. Huh? Uh, that's nothing. Check this out. <sighs> I got it in the line of duty. That must have hurt. Oh, that's almost as awesome as mine. Gone to snowboarding, K2. Oh. 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 
He's just perfect. He is, isn't he?